Hello, thank you for being with me tonight, or today, or this morning, whenever you are with me. I'm Paul Everts, I'm the creator, organizer, distinguished CEO of Band Together Leadership Seminars. Uh, part of the John Maxwell team, I use John Maxwell curriculum, uh, as well as any other curriculum that you'd like to have uh, that would help you. For example, I will start uh, using some Disney information with too i don't work for the disney corporation so don't hurt me but I, anyway there's a great book here called the wisdom of walt leadership lessons from the happiest place on earth and that's where i'm at right now because it's my man cave anyway you can reach me at conductingmylife.com where you can buy this beautiful book right there isn't that beautiful yep conducting my life lessons from a high school band director here i am high school music teacher here i am here i am so um, I'm going to be a little bit off today because today, tonight is the night before school starts. Yes, dynamic online, or is it online dynamic learning? Yeah, that's what we're starting tomorrow. Uh, I started teaching in 1989. I believe we barely had a computer back in 1989. And by gosh, we're all going to be using computers tomorrow. And hopefully they don't crash. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, I think we're going to be fine. So I'm just going to reflect a little bit using my E triangle. And again, as you know, I don't have a PowerPoint sense of doing stuff yet. So this is it right here. You see that right there? Respect, responsible, discipline, faith, and or integrity. And actually, we're working on ethics right now. Um, how, do you, how, do, how do you feel, Paul? Um, fish out of water, grasping for oxygen. Not good. Um, feeling inadequate. I've uh, been blessed to be a good teacher for 30 years. Tomorrow I'll be 31. I start 31 tomorrow. Um, never have felt so lost, including my first year at 23 years old, teaching high school band. Um, by the time I got to 24, 25, we were winning sweepstakes trophies. Uh, I knew what I was doing, um, and uh, it's been a good career. I've, I've gotten nice things said about me. With that being said, tomorrow is nothing that I've ever experienced in my life. I'm going to have to turn on the computer, um, talk to 64 band kids, and uh, talk about marching band and how that's going to look on, you know, whatever. Dynamic online learning, online dynamic learning. Dynamic to me is loud and soft, and right now it's really, really loud. I've had um, some friends um, retire early. Um, had a friend a week ago retire. Doesn't want to do it. Can't do it. Had another friend retire today, you know, and uh, the day before school. I don't, I'm not going to tell you what school that's at, but I'm going to let you know that's the truth. And I, and, I, and I look at it going, I get it. This isn't good. With that being said, it's also a choice. Um, I'm going to do the best I can tomorrow. I'm going to let the kids know I love them. I'm going to say to them, I'm not doing any bitmoji stuff. I'm 54 years old. Let other 54-year-old people who are better, smarter, stronger than I am go ahead and do the bitmoji. Meet the cute little border. Read my blog. I am not a bitmoji. You might like it. Conductingmylife.com Where you can also get that cool little book. All right, let's talk about ethics. Build your relationships on the solid ground of trust. I, I am going to do all I can to earn my students' trust starting tomorrow. The trust that I love them, the trust that I, I didn't resign, I didn't retire early. I stuck it out um, because I love them. I'm not saying the other people that left early didn't love them. In fact, they, they loved him too. They just knew that this wasn't for them anymore. This, they loved him. They made the sacrifice. They said goodbye. Um, we all show our love in different ways. I'm staying, so I, but I don't deserve a medal. I'm just another high school teacher who's old. To be trusted is a greater compliment than to be loved. George MacDonald. That's a great quote. To be trusted is a greater compliment than to be loved. Um, I, th I think that's good for a leader because many people don't love their leaders. Uh, I don't know why. It's not a goal for me. 
I, I love, I've been taught to love, and again, not to get preachy, uh, Jesus Christ. You know, love one another as you'd have them love you. Do unto others as you have them do unto you. Love is very important to me. I say it a lot to my students. I love my students. I love you. I don't even know who you are, but I love you because you're actually spending time with me. That's really cool, and I appreciate that. But to be trusted, people trust me with their children. People trust me with, I don't know, their, their, their confessions, their stories. Trust is an amazing feeling, isn't it? When someone says, I trust you. That's cool, huh? I trust you. And the law of the solid ground in Dr. Maxwell's 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. Dr. Maxwell asserted that trust is the foundation of leadership. But that's not all. In reality, trust is necessary in all good relationships. Good marriages, business relationships, and friendships all require trust. Without trust, there can be no open and honest interaction, and the relationship will be only temporary. Uh, I'm blessed to have had hundreds and hundreds of students. Um, I'm blessed to have uh, been officiant at a couple of the weddings, uh, holding babies of my students. Uh, great stories. I unfortunately attended a funeral or two of my students. And you don't get to have those honors, including a going to a funeral, it's a sad honor, but going to a funeral is a sad honor, but you go, it's an honor. You want to honor the dead without a sense of trust. And I take that seriously. So how do you gain trust of others? Manchester Incorporated, a consulting firm in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, used a survey of more than 200 companies to discover the best ways for leaders to build trust in employees. They found that people who engender trust do the following. They maintain integrity. That's what's what in my side of my E triangle, integrity. Openly communicate vision and values. I think it's really important, even tomorrow, to tell the students what's the vision for this program now. What are my values and the expectations from them? Show respect for employees as equal partners. I don't consider it to be equal in the sense of one-to-one. -one. I still consider myself the teacher, yeah, and the student teacher, student. Yeah, I know it's far-fetched. But on the other hand, I want to treat them with respect as a student. Focus on shared goals rather than personal agendas. Do the right thing regardless of personal risk. Listen with an open mind. Demonstrate compassion. And then finally, you got to maintain confidences, which means keeping secrets. When they tell me something, got to keep it a secret. So in addition to this helpful list, I would add that a critical way to gain trust is to be willing to give trust. Former United States Secretary of State Henry L. Tent Stimson remarked, the chief lesson I have learned in a long time, in a long life, is the only way you make a man trustworthy is by trusting him. And the surest way to make him untrustworthy is to distrust him and show your distrust. Haven't you found that to be true of yourself? We all want to be trusted. And by taking the leap of faith to trust in someone, you give them a gift that they usually want to repay. As you strive to invest confidence in others in the same way you would like it invested in you, there's the golden rule again, take comfort in the words of Camille Benso de Cavour, who said, The man who trusts men will make fewer mistakes than he who distrusts them. i say it one more time. The man who trusts men will make fewer mistakes than he who distrusts them. Tomorrow is the time to start building trust between students and teachers and teachers and students and parents as well. A couple of things to think about. Get to your classes on time. 
forgive one another when you guys are making mistakes. It could crash, so it happens. We can't control everything, right? But we can control ourselves, and I have to really work on that myself. When you don't know what's going on, please make sure you're asking questions. Parents, I, I know I, I have raised two children myself. I have worked with midlife parents for 30 years. That means people that have been, let's see, biologically, if you're 14, you had the kid at 26, so you're 40, right? So I've worked with parents between 38 and as old as 64 or something. Parents, do all you can to stay hands off, all right? It's, I know it's tough. It's very tough, especially since the kid's at home and you're seeing what's going on. If you need to contact a teacher, do it the old-fashioned way. Phone. 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 Okay, do it the old-fashioned way. I, I wouldn't do it on the Zoom. I wouldn't. I mean, I just that's just me. I'll send can you figure it out. I'll send this parent next to the kid in front of all the other class kids. No, no, no. So we need you to get involved. We need you to know what's going on. We need to know how we can really work together to make sure your child gets all they can out of this mad thing. You know, dynamic online learning, online dynamic, whatever. We got to do what we can. So with that in mind, begin with the end in mind. Every choice you make is who you are. What do you want to have said at your funeral? You do have some power in that. Make good choices so we can talk good things about you. Hey, how about seek first to understand and be understood? There are flipping many people hurting right now. They need to hear, they need to be listened to. Okay, so please listen to the questions and then answer the questions. Then finally, People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. I care about you very much. That's why I'm doing this the night before school starts. So I, I do care about you, and I love you. You know, for you to take time out and listen to this old man talk is really cool. And then finally, say it with me. I can. I am doing the best I can. I am doing the best I can. One more time, everybody. I am doing <laughs> the best I can. I hope you have a great first day of school. I hope you give yourself a break. I hope you give the teachers a break. Everyone wants us to succeed. And if you don't, go check yourself, okay? Please, everyone needs to be in this together. All right, I love you very much. Thanks for listening. Bye.